we said with the Steelers, it was funny. We said, even when Russ, we said this before the season, even when Russ was in his athletic prime, he wasn't great from the pocket and he wasn't loved in the locker room. So That's cool. Justin Fields was going to win the locker room. He's a likable, relatable, young, athletic, and this team can't figure out their run game or their own line. It's a Tomlin issue, I guess. They just can't figure it out. It's never going to be great. I do think they got the OC right. But if you're asking young players, so at one point, Russell's elusiveness could overcome his limitations as a pocket guy. He doesn't have that. Yeah. Justin isn't great in the pocket either, but his athletic ability can overcome that. Sick athlete. Sick. Yeah. And the truth is, he's likable. Everybody in Chicago to the end yeah. liked him. To the last game. And so now, basically, he's starting this week, Tomlin said earlier today. So he's the guy. and there, He's you, the starter. He's the starter. So he's you, the starter. It's over. It's over. Like okay. I, And by the way, I don't think Justin Fields is going to continue to play at this level. Because this last game might have been his best game, even though they lost. I do think he'll have a stretch of rough football yeah. at one or multiple points this year. I still think he should be the starter for the entirety of the year, barring injury. The, you, They don't have a good quarterback in waiting. They have a 35-plus-year-old who is all of a sudden now injury-prone quarterback coming off back-to-back awful seasons. I don't understand this idea at all that there is a real question there. The guy with more upside ended up getting the job because the other guy was injured. He has played better. Justin Fields has played better, and he hasn't played brilliant, but he has played better these four weeks than Russell Wilson has played at any point in the last three years. Like, what are we talking about? I... It is, it, it, listen, it's a sad kind of uh, surprising end, but Russell Wilson's time as, hey, you're a no-doubt starting quarterback in this league might have ended in training camp when his cap tightened up. I don't think we are going to have another season where it's like our week one guaranteed starter is Russell Wilson. And so, yeah, I think it's Justin Fields' job. I'm going to... Yeah, so... First and foremost, I want to ask Pittsburgh Steelers, just right off the jump, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers fans, you know, what do you guys, how do you guys feel about that? Are you happy with how Justin Fields has been playing? Do you think Justin Fields is going to be the future for you at quarterback? Do you want to see him continue to be the quarterback for the for the rest of this season, into next season, and, and you know, thereafter? Or are you looking around at some of these other quarterbacks like, you know, Jaden Daniels, CJ Stroud, Jordan Love, and you're like, no, 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 we need we need a better quarterback. Yeah, Justin Fields is pretty good right now and not as bad as maybe Chicago had him, but we need to we need to upgrade even more. That I'm curious to hear what Steelers fans have to say about. But in terms of the whole back and forth between Russell Wilson, yeah, listen, at this point, I think the only way Russ gets the start you know the starting job again is one of course if justin fields gets injured or two if justin fields really has like just and it'll have to be in a row it would have to be like three or four just awful games just one after the other where it was just like oh my god this is a disaster the guys you know like he turns into like anthony richardson where it's just like zero touchdowns two interceptions one touchdown four interceptions and a fumble right? 50% completion percentage. That's the only way I could possibly see that happening right now because the locker room is going to, is all behind Justin Fields. The coaching staff is all behind Justin Fields. It's the continuity now as well. They're going to continue to really build and shape this offense and just the identity as a, the team as a whole with Justin Fields as the quarterback. It's just where things are right now for the Steelers and I was very impressed with how he played um last game I know they lost right and I know it was their first loss but I think it was actually the best game that Justin Fields played and I think it was honestly the most impressive quite frankly and a lot of the issues that he had throughout that game or just the issues that he's thrown throughout that he's shown throughout this season I think in a lot of ways are things that he can fix that he can continue to grow and evolve quite frankly, especially with more time. And like I kind of keep saying with Justin Fields is that you almost have to see him as a rookie quarterback, right? Um, you have to see him as he has to unlearn and hit the reset button 
to such a high degree because look at everything that Chicago has been doing. Look what Chicago is doing with just Caleb Williams right now. It's not even the same coaching staff. So I think Justin Fields, you know, with the new culture, with the new team, with new offensive um, coaches around him, it's just it, it's a relearning, a growing process. And I think with Fields, what you're really looking for is to not have him be immediately great right now. It's just, is he getting better week to week? to week and honestly giving him the rookie benefit of the doubt where if he does have a really bad game and i know he's technically not a rookie obviously but it's just like that's that's what i'm doing with him right i'm just hitting the reset button whatever happened in chicago i do not care you know move on um we see how much a place and a coaching staff matters, right? We, we see it so loud and clear with Sam Darnold and the Minnesota Vikings. I mean, Sam Darnold really struggled to get success and was, you know, had one foot out of the league, you know, at one point. And that was with obviously the Jets and the Panthers. And now he's the, it's the number one seed with, with the Vikings. He's, he's the, playing like the best quarterback in the NFL. That's the difference. That's the difference when you get some weapons, you get Kevin O'Connell, a great offensive coach. It's night and day. This is going to continue to be an unbelievable example of how much coaching truly matters for a quarterback. And we're already seeing it with Justin Fields. I think we're going to be able to add Justin Fields to the list of those of those examples that we can use. We're going to be like, look at Herbert, look at uh, Josh Allen, look at Justin Fields right? Look at Sam Darnold. These were all quarterbacks who struggled with bad coaching. When you got him a good coach, boom, they took off. And I think we're going to see that with Justin Fields. I really, really do. But Justin Fields is still younger, right? He's younger than Sam Darnold. He's, he hasn't been in the league as long. So there's still a lot more maturity and growth process that needs to take place. Not to mention Sam Darnold is having so much quicker success because he was with uh, Shanahan for a year as well, which really, really, really helped him. Same thing with Baker Mayfield and being with McVay for like that half a year or whatever, right? Like they were both exposed to just really great coaches for an extended period of time. This is now Justin Fields' first time finally being exposed to some of these coaches. I don't think Sam Darnold would have had the level of success that he's having right now with Kevin O'Connell if it was just year one, if he never went to Shanahan, or if he just got thrown into the 49ers offense that first year with Shanahan. I don't think he would look as good as he looks right now. These things take time. They take time. They have to unlearn. Unlearning things can be brutal from an athlete because it's so ingrained in you, right? The things that you've learned, it becomes your your like like a religious identity in a lot of ways. And then you have to not only because the reason why it's also can be so difficult to unlearn for a couple of reasons. One, because you're comfortable doing the wrong things. Even if it's wrong, it's still what you're comfortable. It's still what your muscle memory relies on in any given moment. And you have to trust now what the other person is telling you that this is the way to go. So now you also have to unlearn what's uncomfortable and trust what's also uncomfortable now. So it just becomes an overall difficult, uncomfortable situation. That's why it's going to take even you know, his journey for Justin Fields is even harder than say a rookie quarterback because a rookie's coming in there with like a blank slate in a lot of my, you know, in a lot of ways. Of course, they obviously learned all their stuff in college, but if you're going to be a humble rookie, you're looking at your, you know, NFL coaches like, okay, what he says goes. Justin Fields obviously already having experience in the, in the, in the NFL. It's just going to be a little bit harder to just, you know, uh, hit that reset button. But I think we're seeing it happen. I think we're seeing the evolution of Justin Fields. Um, and it's been pretty cool to see him uh, continue to grow and get better and better and better. But those are just my thoughts. I'd absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think? Do you think Fields has cemented the starting job in Pittsburgh? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here. And I'd absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to. Something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. As it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much. See you next time.